Hello, Silaholics, and welcome to Silaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia. If this is your first time here and you have never viewed any of my content, I do hope that you enjoy the contents of this video and will choose to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to crop an image to a shape that you have traced. It is very important um, that you recognize the style of shape that you are tracing because it will affect how your image crops to it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right over into this. So I pulled a couple different um, shapes and things, you know, depending on how you may open it from Google. Now, if you have something that is an SVG or something from like the Silhouette Design Store, it's already set for you. Just note if it has two different layers to it um, because that's going to also affect you may have to ungroup or release compound path on certain things. So we're going to just dive right into this and I'm going to trace each one of these. So we're going to go select trace area. And when you're tracing this, it's tracing the black part of this design. All right, so we're going to just hit trace. You don't want to do a trace and detach. You want to do a trace. And I'm going to delete that one. So on this one, I'm going to do a trace as well. And you can see where I can pretty much see the outline of the of the tag and the middle part. That's what that's kind of how we want this to come out. So I'm going to hit trace on that. And I'm going to just um, well, yeah, we'll just delete the original. We don't really need the original. On this one, kind of the same thing, but you're going to see the major difference between this one and the other one that we traced. We're going to have to take our threshold up because of the color. If it was all black, it most likely would pick up right at 45%. Um, but we take it up because of the color, and then we're just going to hit trace. All right, so when it comes to this one, I do need to shift this a little bit. There we go. Kind of the same concept as the solid circle. We're going to go to trace. Put our box up our thresholds. I like to take my scale down to smooth out the lines. And then trace. And there's that shape. And then our last one is this one. This is the most complex one to trace. Well, kind of like with the first one as well, because it has thick black lines. All right, we're going to take our, well, just the scale help with that one to straighten out some of those lines, and we're going to hit trace. All right, my recommendation, you know, whenever you are tracing something, is to fill it with color first. This allows you to see what it is that you actually traced. So I'm going to just fill all of these with black. So if you notice with these two, you only see that outline. If you tra if you crop something to this, you're only going to get the image where that black, where the black is, because that's the solid part. Everything else is transparent. There's nothing for it to crop to. When you're cropping, you have to crop to a solid shape or, you know, text, number, anything like that. It has to be solid. So with this one, as we can see, the middle part is open. But this is a very easy fix to get this to where you have a solid circle and then you just have a little cutout uh, for like a tag in the middle. You're going to right click and release compound path. Once you release compound path, you're then going to click on the outside circle and you're going to delete it. You can just hit delete on your keyboard. Then you're going to drag and select the circle, the big circle and the small one. You're going to right click and make compound path. This is now ready for it to be, like for an image to be cropped to. We're going to come back to that. 
So with this one, you're going to release compound path. But the difference in this one, um, you know, in going back in it is you now have two layers. It's a double line, so to speak. So you have the outside one and you have the inside one. You can click on the inside here and delete it. And then for this one, depending on if you want your circle to be big or smaller, you would click on one of those and delete it. So I'm going to delete the bigger one. So now I have the solid um, kind of like ornament piece and then this middle circle. We're going to drag and select, right click, and make a compound path. It's going to be the same way for this one as well. Right click, release compound path. And this time I'm going to just delete both circles at the same time. I'm going to click on the internal one. Or actually, if you want it, um, it to really be more of the smaller circle and not the bigger one, you can click on the outside circle. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to click on the, for this one, I mean, you can click on the outside or the inside circle. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll just click on the outside circle again. We're going to hit delete. We're left with that in both, both internal circles. Select them. Right click. Make compound path. And it just means that with this one, the circle was smaller on the smaller side than the, you know, size of the bigger one. Now with the ones over here, they are traced and ready to go. They are solid. So now as you can see with all of these, they now all have color filled inside. It's no longer on the edge and you have to have it like this in order to crop. So what you want to do now is just select, you know, I'm going to select all my shapes, but you would select the shape that you traced out and remove the color. Okay. I'm going to make a couple of duplicates of my base image so that we can crop it to all of these shapes. So we're going to put one there. And this image um, is from Raw Sushi. She's an artist on Instagram and YouTube. Um, I just kind of pulled this picture because I was in love with it. I know she sells them as like stickers or you can buy her art. She does not sell them in digital format, unfortunately. I wish she did though. I will um, put the, the full name for her Instagram in the description of this video. All right, so we have one for each one. I like to kind of work off of the design mat just because I don't like to be on the solid white so that you can see if you do fill something with white, you can see what it looks like. So we're going to pull her down to here. You know, you're going to position your picture wherever you want it to crop at. You're going to select the shape that you're going to crop um, the image to. And you're going to right click and copy. Then you're going to select your image and the shape. You're going to go to modify and we're going to crop it. So it will crop the edges of it. And then the top part, you don't see it there. Now, depending on what you're designing, this may be fine for you. Or you can paste in front, fill that with color, and then send it to the back. That way you can also take the background, you can fill it with a pattern, you can fill it with another color. You know, you can now have it where it's a full tag and you have where the cutout is. If you don't put that back, it's just going to crop it around and you won't have the actual um, shape of, like the rest of the shape of the tag, unless it is a picture that fully covers the tag. So if I were to take this, I'm gonna lose a lot of this image. I'm just gonna make it really big to where it goes on the inside. If I were to crop this, you see that it leaves the circle. You see the full circle, the little inside part. You see all of that because it covered the circle completely. So with this one, let's go ahead and just do the same thing. We're going to position this where we want it. All right, we're going to copy, select both, and crop. 
right click, paste in front, fill it with color, send it, right click, and send it to the back. And there we go. All right. One last time, I'm just going to put this one kind of off to the side over here just to show you it from like a different perspective. We're going to right click and copy, select the shape and the image, crop, right click, paste in front, fill it with color, and send it to the back. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with a pattern. You can also crop another pattern to this, the same way we did that. So let's say that you don't have the pattern that you want in your, um, you know, in your library. You can easily go and pull another image and crop that as well. I'm going to kind of mimic that by just having a box rather than go and just um, copy and paste one. I'm going to mimic what I'm referring to by just filling this. Okay. So if you went on Google, you copied a background of some sort, it's going to come in where it is a box. It's a, you know, a rectangle, a box, depending on how it was set up. Also, don't forget to go back in if you have the two layers to group them so that you can move it around together. So with this one, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to make this one kind of go to the edge a little bit. There we go. We're going to select that shape and right click and copy. We're going to drag and select, right click and, I'm sorry, not right click. We're going to go over to modify and crop, right click, paste in front. Now with this one, we're going to just select it all, hold down shift, select the image, crop, and send it to the back. Okay? If you decide that you want to move your image around, you will have to recrop it because the minute you move it, it is cropped to that original shape. I mean, it, so you're going to see those areas. So you have to, um, you will have to recrop it. If you make a mistake and you don't really like the way that it looks, you will have to, you know, recrop the image. You could use the fill and move it around, but again, it's still going to be affected by, uh oh, let's see, come on, let's go pan. There we go. So you can move this around. But that cropped, you see here where it's cut off, that will still be a factor. So it is sometimes better to just recrop it all, uh, all together. So you, but you can move this around within that shape. All right. All right, guys. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to leave them as a comment below. I'll be... I'm more than happy to try and answer those for you at my earliest convenience. If you are on Facebook, visit me over there, Silaholics Anonymous. Um, and if you have questions, you can post it to my Facebook group, Silaholics Anonymous Silhouette Help, or uh, tag me in a post, tag Silaholics Anonymous, and I will see that, or even inbox me um, if you have any additional questions. Um, I also have classes available. You can visit my website, shop.silaholicsanonymous.com. The Academy is coming up very soon, so make sure you check the website and check my Facebook page for the updates on that. And I don't forget to subscribe, guys. Until next time, have a great one.